big trout. It's a big trout. Now then, today is the first day of um, spinning when spinning's allowed on my club stretch of river and I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting months to come fishing here. The species I'm after today are trout, big trout hopefully, but here where I'm fishing there's always a chance of a monster chub up to about seven pound. If I'm lucky, a sea trout and if, an, yeah, if I'm even luckier, a big salmon. So let's see how we get on. Now to say I'm prepared for this fishing trip would be an understatement. I've spent the last couple of months accumulating a few really good trout lures. We got some big salmo here, savage gear spinners, some salmo bugs. We got a salmo hornet and a um, minnow pattern one there. Got some Rapala countdowns, some shadow wraps. We got some jigs. We have all sorts of stuff here. We even got some random little propeller spinners, some spoons some soft baits. So I'm confident today, I'm gonna to absolutely clean up and catch a fair future out. So my rod of choice today, no surprises here. The Fish Rig 180 by Rigged and Ready, ultra light, semi-telescopic lure rod. Can't think of a better rod for the occasion, really been performing for me lately. Starting things off with the Rapala countdown. People often ask me how I connect my lures. Either I tie it directly onto the split ring or I'll use just the cheap link swivel. First couple of casts of the 2021 season. I love this little stretch. Within five minutes of my first trip here, I'd had a sea trout. Water's a bit low for my liking though. Not much water in there at the moment. Very clear, it's been hot for a while. Really, we need some rain to liven things up, but I'd like to think I've got enough weapons in my arsenal to be able to catch something today. No joy in the first spot. Just gonna move a bit further around because I've seen a lot of minnows moving up here. Right over there on that bank. I'm not sure if you can see them. Good follow there. Whoa, massive chub just followed it. Massive chub. Whoa, ho, ho. I can see you. I can see you, trout and a chub. Come on, come on. Oh, my days, that was close. That must have been a three pound chub that just followed me right to the bank then. And a half pound trout. He came out of nowhere. Feeling confident about this cast, or this spot in general. Caught many a trout here before. Fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a chub. Very nice chub. I think. He's coming right in the side. He's trying to fool me. Oh, here's a lovely chub. Right, my net is clipped onto my back. He's got fight left yet though. I'm half expecting him to kick off again in a minute. Right. Look at him, what a beautiful fish. Look at him. And we've got him. Oh, it's waiting until he's in the net to go mental. Oh, I'm gonna get my own hooking mat for him. He's heavy. So it can be sort of hard to tell how big a fish is when it's in the net. So I'm gonna try and maybe hold it up after. But look at the size of this. Beautiful chub. This is probably a PB. In fact, this is a PB. This is a Leo, oh, it feels heavy. Uh, maybe two and a half, three pounder. 
I've got a big hand. Look at it next to my hand. You know what they say about big hands, eh? Big chub. Come on. Hey! Don't know if you can see that, but look at it. What a stunning fish. Absolute whopper of a chub. You just can't ask for a better start than that to the day. I've only 20 minutes in. I've only fished one of about four or five nice places I'm gonna to fish today. Some really deep pools ahead. I've just got a feeling that's not gonna be the best fish of the day. That was exciting. A few more casts here, then I'm gonna move on. Hopefully I can pick up an early trout now. Then whatever happens, I can go home happy. Just before I get my crocs on and get ready to move, I'm gonna have a few more casts here. Because that chub I just caught probably wasn't quite as big as the one I saw before. But I will be fishing this spot again. I've had a sea trout here, as I said before, so before I come home, I'll be having another crack here for sure. No, I would not be surprised at all if there were some big fish, maybe even migratory, hold or held up in this pool here, because it's been hot for so long. There's a cormorant over there. Oh no, it isn't, it's a duck. Anyway, yeah, there's big pools like this. There's a few of them running down, all, down along here. I've lost a salmon here before. I've caught a lot of big trout and a lot of big chub, so let's see what today's got to offer. A lot of snag, so I'm gonna have to be careful. First cast, come on. It's time, the crocs are on. You know, I mean business when the crocs go on. Hopefully, they're gonna be able to turn my luck. It's gone a bit quiet since that chub. Well, actually, I'm gonna put them in sport mode, I think. Gotta be ready for anything with your crocs. Sport mode's what you want in a situation like this, that's for sure. For the next stretch of river, I've downsized to a size two Savage gear spinner. Then, a bit further on in the trip, hopefully after I've picked up a couple more trout, it'll be time for this. Let's do some spinning. Hopefully the water's not going to be too cold. I'm fairly desperate for a few trout. I'm going to wade in quite deep. I did nearly bottle this wade because the ground looks a bit gross. And on a slant. And to add to my problems, it's slippy. Oh no, I'm sliding all over the shot. Gonna have to rely heavily on the grip of these crocs. Now I can think of things I'd rather rely on than a three pound pair of crocs, but if history has shown anything, then these crocs catch fish. Look at this for a an idyllic little spot of river. The low clear water today is making it a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, so I've downsized again from the spinner. It's the old trusty Salmo Hornet. I've taken the link swivel off. And that's because it can just be an extra little unnatural thing to put off a wary fish. Now this Salmo Hornet has an action like no other. You can feel so much vibration coming through the rod. Hopefully that means the fish can feel it too.
fish. Oh, it's another chub. It's a big chub. Oh, yes. He's fighting this one, fighting a lot more than the last. Oh, he's staying deep. I'm going to have to move with him a bit here. From right on. Oh, can you see that coming in? I'm having net problems. There we go. <laughs> He's heavier than the last. He is heavier than the last. <laughs> right, I need to find somewhere on the bank to put my bag down. Look at him. What a whopper. <laughs> Get the hook out first and then I'll get some pictures of him. Now this is a fish I wish I had my scales for. Whoa, look at it, it's two-toned. Whoa, that has got to be rare. Look at that, I've seen pike like this before in pictures. But never, never on a chub. Let me just get my hand in there and I'll show you how big he is. And he's off. Well, the trout aren't playing ball today, but the chub definitely are. Now, that is a fish I really wish I had my scales for. That could have been... Oh, I don't... I wouldn't even like to guess on the way to that. But if, if any of you out there are chub experts, let me know. Because that the first fish I caught was a PB. Second fish I've caught was a PB. Absolutely crazy stuff. Um... Wish I could have shown you that fish a bit closer, actually. It might be kind of hard for you to tell, but he slipped out my hand. What can you do? Don't really like taking fish out of the water for too long. Couldn't be bothered getting an unhooking mat out just because I could do it in the net. So what's best for the fish is just to hold him up out of the water and he slipped out my hand. Going to try and get back to it and who knows? Maybe I'll even catch a bigger one. <clears throat> Oh, a big one. Big chub just swiped at it then. Again, surely not. Surely not another big chub today. Same spot. Come on, chub. Come on. It's giving me the goosebumps, this fishing trip. What is that? What is that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's a big trout. It's a big trout. Whoa, ho, 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 holy moly. I do not want to lose this fish. Beautiful. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, my net is everywhere. Oh, I'm everywhere. Whoa, oh, no. Holy! Yes. <laughs> Come on! Oh, that just hurt my stomach. Oh, that really hurt my stomach laughing like that. Ow. Look at this for a fish. Too much excitement for one day. Too much excitement. Oh no, this is a monster. Look at the size of this for a brown trout. Hand for comparison. Again, big hand. Look at the colours on him. If anybody ever asks me why I love fishing so much, I'm going to show them this. Look at those beautiful colours. Absolutely gorgeous fish after catching two chub. Oh, I can't believe it. Look at that for a gorgeous trout. 
let's send him home. This is one of the biggest trout I've ever caught on this river. Off he goes. Chunky, chunky boy. There were more fish going for it than just that as well in here. Oh, let me just wash the sand off my reel. Another big chub swiped at it before. So with a bit of luck. We might be able to hook one. <coughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Another big fish straight away. Oh, <laughs> it's another big chub. No way. I can't believe this fishing trip. This is just mental. It's not even hooked right. It's going to be a miracle if I land this fish. Whoa, he's taking drag. Oh, <laughs> and he's off. He's off. Can't complain though after the look I've been having. Maybe should have had my drag a tiny bit looser there. This fishing trip has just been crazy. Guess this is what the Americans call a honey hole. That was unbelievable. It was just hooked under its chin, so. Oh, I just had another take. What's going on? What on earth is happening here? These crocs. And that was a big fish as well. Really big fish. There's so much adrenaline coursing through my veins right now. That trout was an absolute unit. Well, I've got your, your firm attention, hopefully. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. As soon as this water starts flowing, after a bit of rain next week, I'll be back and I'll have big trout on my mind. Maybe salmon. I've got a score to settle with this river. Lost a nice salmon last season. That trout fought so hard. Much harder than those two of them. Really impressed again with the the fish rig 180, this rigged and ready rod. Showed real strength then to land those fish. If anyone's looking to pick one of these up, I've actually done a review recently, my most recent video, so if you're interested I'll leave a link to the descript that in the description below. And you can even get 10% off. With discount code AFUK10. Thanks again for watching everyone by the way. I'm putting these videos out like nobody's business now. That little bit I tried then wasn't particularly productive. Just had a quick 20 minute wade down the river. Heading back to that corner where I just caught all of those fish. Gave that bit a bit of a rest. And I have the perfect lure spot on for this. Big Salmo. I'm going to give them something they can't refuse. Now if there's a big fish down there, a big chub or an even bigger trout, it's not going to be able to resist this. Pick this bad boy up from predatortackle.co.uk so if you need to top up on your lures and you want access to stuff that you don't really find on your angling directs etc very often, then head over there and have a look. Now I have a real opportunity here to catch an absolute whopper. In fact, I'm probably ruling out. Whoa, there's an eel. Whoa. Oh my days, that scared the life out of me. That is horrible. I find eels gross. In fact, should I get my GoPro off and try film underwater? Don't really want my hand anywhere near that. That is grim. In fact, oh, it's off.
Crocs are coming off after an unbelievable little stint with them on, but I'm going to take this big lure I've got on now and I'm going to um, head back to where I started. Fish there for a bit. The heat is intense. Really, really hot. Hay fever's getting to me as well, but um, I'm going to gonna plug on. going to try and pick something up with this big lure. I'm going to try those big pulls from earlier and then that long stretch where I had my first. If you look closely, you can see the head of a dead chub there. Now, last time I was here, well, last season, there was a lot of mink on this stretch. So that's probably what it was. Not a promising sign for the fish stocks, but it's always interesting to see nature in action in that way. So I'm going to finish the trip where I started it. If I don't get another fish, I'll show you the action of this lure underwater because it's incredible. Got it from Predator Tackle. It's a crankbait that really cranks. I'll show you what I mean by that. No more fish, unfortunately. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you did, uh, dropping a like. It really does help me out. Um, also, my friend Bailey has just posted his first proper YouTube video, so I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Essex Anglers, I'd appreciate it a lot if you could check that out and maybe subscribe to that too if you enjoy the video. Catch you down the road.